Hello friend, in this video we will show you the rule of image formation with the help of concave lens. Right? Before this video, I already explained the rule of formation of the image by a convex lens. Right? In the same way, here for concave lens, I am showing few rules. Okay? The rule number one is that a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis of a concave lens appear to be coming from its focus after refraction through the lens right here you can visualize that the if you watch the refracted light after the lens then you, you will imagine or feel that the light is coming from this focus point f right the details of the lens diagram has been shown here c is the optical center and ao is the incident ray on the lens and ox is the refracted ray right and this uh, middle line of the lens is called the central line of the lens right and this one is the focus this ox uh, refracted ray seems to be coming from the point f right what i told you for rule number one and dear friend my voice is not clear and up to the mark to do i have got cold right now okay this is the rule number two the rule number two is that it is very simple and we have already learned that a ray if falls directly on the optical center of a lens earlier we have studied this for convex lens and in case of concave lens also the incident ray pass away straight away after refraction without any deviation right as it is shown here this rule is inversal and it acts for all the lens right and the rule number three is that suppose this is the principal axis and this is the concave lens and this one is the central axis right if any ray of light going towards the focus of a convex uh, concave lens after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis right this one is the focus and this one is the refracted ray okay all right friends and so these all three were the rules of the image formation with the help of a concave lens now i am going to explain about the formation of image with the help of a concave lens right in case of concave lens the image formation can be broadly categorized with the two number of the object position right the first one is that if the object is placed between optical center c and infinity right the image will be formed between f and optical center right this is the first condition the second op uh, object position is that if the object is placed at infinity infinity then the image will be formed at focus right and the image will be highly diminished and in the first case the image will be diminished right and highly diminished if the object is placed at infinity uh, irrespective of the convex lens uh, which have the sixth position which i have already discussed in case of concave lens only we have to learn only two object position right for image formation right and how the image will shift from uh, the optical center to uh, focus if the object is uh, shifted from uh, optical center towards infinity i will see you right uh, there is only two broad category of the image formation of concave lens but i will show few images how the image for image shift from uh, optical center towards focus right so here is the 
first condition I am showing with the image. Watch here. So in this case, I placed the image at B here, okay, this is the optical center and this is the focus, the first ray taken parallel to the principal axis, this one, okay, and it's appeared to coming from the focus as here it is shown. So AO is the incident ray and OX is the refracted ray, first ray diagram. The second ray diagram is that AC falls directly on the optical center and it passes away straight after refraction right and these two ray uh, appears to cross here at point a dot so a dot b dot is the image formed right so the nature of image is diminished and it is erect next one is it is virtual okay and you can also say that its position is between f and c so you need to write all this okay if you are asked to give the position so you will write this point and if you want to um, give the nature of the image then you have to mention all these three point right so this is the first condition in which I told that the, if the object is placed between optical center C and infinity here infinity why I have taken the parallel ray first one because the rays coming from the infinity are considered to be parallel with the principal axis right if you shift this object towards infinity infinity is somewhere practically I cannot show here but it is towards left side here so what will you notice then as you shift the object towards the infinity the image will be uh, shifted towards focus f and when the object will be exactly at infinity then this image will form at f right so uh, i am showing uh, that condition okay again i am drawing the second ray diagram like this so these two parallel ray are coming from the infinity fall on concave lens and after refraction they seems to be coming from this focus point f so the image formed will be very small in size and it will be at f okay so what will be the nature of the image when object is placed at infinity image will be erect okay virtual highly diminished right and position will be at focus so this is the second condition right these are the two condition uh, of the image formation with the help of concave lens and as i saw that if we shift the object uh, from optical center toward the infinity the image will be shifted towards the focus f now i am showing another ray diagram in which i will keep the object between f and c because i told that the object uh, will be placed between optical center and infinity the image will be formed between f and c but i have to also show one condition when the object will be placed between uh, f and c okay because this, for this position you should also know that how the image is formed with the help of concave lens right so for this case i am drawing another image here
okay friend this was all about the rule of image formation with the help of concave lens right if you have any doubts then comment below okay